Hey guys, this is the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro Premium uh, Smartwatch. I've been using it for some time now already, but I repackaged it for you to see what is in the box. So the, in watch mode it has a 14 day battery life, in GPS mode 36 hours. This is the kind of medium size watch, the case size is 47 millimeters and the display size 1.3 inches, the total weight 81 grams. Uh, so this is the pro version which has the music uh, features, it has power, a power manager, Pace Pro and the Pulse Ox feature which is uh, available in, in most of the newer Garmin uh, smartwatches nowadays. The packaging uh, looks really great and the, the smartwatch uh, does as well. So let's have a look into the box. The watch comes nicely packaged in this um, frame here. Uh, it would be off but uh, I didn't reset the watch for this video so you would need to power it on and then connect it to your smartphone. Uh, there's also a charging cable, yeah. so the charging cable has a USB connection and then it has this um, connection which is typical for, for the Carmen smartwatches. I'll show you the, the connector on, on the back of the watch in a moment. There's also the Phoenix 6 series manual and some important safety and product information. Okay, the watch. So it has this, uh, well this, this is the, the black version uh, which has this uh, black uh, rubber strap. Uh, here's the charging connection which you can plug the, the connector on. Uh, it holds on very well. I think that looks just fine. So this case, it says uh, Gorilla Class, 100 meters. This is the Phoenix 6 Pro. The case is metal on the back and this is also metal. The straps, straps have this uh, 22 millimeter lug width and these are the quick fit straps so you can easily just disconnect them and if you have different straps you want to use. The buttons are very uh, sturdy and work very well but um, I was already a bit used to wearing a uh, watch with, with the touch screen and this Phoenix 6 Pro does not have a touch screen or in none of the Phoenix 6 lineup watches have a touch screen and, and that's of course intentional and that's why it has a bit more buttons but the buttons do work very well and you will get very familiar with the, the buttons uh, once you just um, I think it maybe took me a, a week before I got used to that. So uh, there is a down button, a up button or slash menu button, button and there is a light button. And then here you have the, the button for starting the, the activities and it works as a select button. And the, there is also a back button or, or a lap button when you are having an activity on. So. By holding the, the menu button you, you get into the menus and the, the configuration options on this one is, I mean they are, they are enormous, it's um, impossible to go through all of that in a short period of time. There's a, um, with the down button you get to the uh, stats or things which you have configured here into the menu, I have the respiration the temperature, which is measuring the temperature on the watch. So for example, if I'm doing an activity and my 
skin temperature goes up then the watch will show a higher temperature this is the weather information then there's a sunrise information there's a compass compass and just moving that around it does does move this is the of course you can also select this and go so this is my vo2 max measurement training status last activity notification spotify barometer reported battery health stats heart rate sleep and you can edit and add stuff in and i mean the functionality is is enormous and you can do many very many things with it i think the, the build quality of the watch is excellent and uh, i have been very very happy with the watch so the watch does come in different sizes there is the the 42 millimeter case size which is the 6s and then well i this one which i was showing is the phoenix 6 um and then there's a 55 uh, sorry 51 millimeter one which is called 6x and yeah well the 42 millimeter one is geared to more towards smaller wrist sizes and and the skews or the designs of the watches they are also a bit different this one has a white strap and a kind of is that that's a golden bezel and then there's the, the sapphire version which has um a sapphire class on it and then there's the solar version which has additionally solar panel on it for, for some additional charging if a touch screen is important for you uh, bear in mind that this one does not have a touch screen but uh, pretty, pretty much everything else would what you would like to have is on the watch and not having a touch screen is actually great if you're swimming or in the pool the buttons work a lot better or if you're doing a workout and mm, you're sweating a lot and uh, the humidity is, is high the touch screens don't work that great so mm, and the, the design is very rugged uh, just wearing it on my wrist it, well you can see it is a bit bulky and kind of comparing it for example to a Seiko 5 um, watch well this is larger but I, I wear it 24 7 during sleep and I just take it off actually only for only for charging it or, or cleaning it up so uh, if you found this video helpful please give a thumbs up and also consider subscribing for other uh, smartwatch related videos later on hope to see you in the next one bye for now